Hello, Senior Stoner fans. This is the real Senior Stoner back at you for your aura dab of the day. Hello, everybody. Today is Saturday. We've been talking a lot about the pain. We've been talking a lot about how it grabs us. We've been talking a lot about strategies. You know what we haven't talked a lot about? Just doing it. You know, there's an old thing Nancy Reagan said, just say no. Remember that about drugs? Say no to drugs. Well, we just have to say it. No pain. In the old days, back in the 70s, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young played live. And it went on one of their really big albums. And there's a storm that starts going. And you hear them chanting in, in the crowd. No rain, no rain, no rain, no rain. Then they roll into one of their great songs, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Why am I saying say it loud? Actions speak a lot louder than the words. So we have to actually do something. We have to make an effort and make something happen. It's like a step in front of the other step physically. If you don't do that, you haven't done anything. So we've got to find a way to do something up against our pain. Remember, we got to learn to live with it. We're not going to kill it. We're not going to let it kill us, though. So we've got to put something up against our pain. What about just putting up a mile marker, a stake in the ground, saying, okay, here I am, here it is. Can I get past that point? If you make it to there, you've gotten past that point. Said it again. If I make it to that point, well, said it again and said it again. What I'm telling you is that the goal can be still a little bit out there, but yet attainable, but you got to have a goal. You've got to have something out there that you're looking for. In the old days, when things were peaceful and less painful, I said we wanted to have pleasure. I actually said find things pleasurable. My sights are set lower. I'm not looking for pleasure. I'm looking for less pain. So when that's the goal, what are the things we need to put in front of ourselves for a Saturday? Limited activities. Say it again. Limited activities. I know you're going to say you're stuck in the house, but limited activities. Things that make you happy. I don't care what it is. Sit with your dog on your lap all day if you have to. Have Mrs. Stoner rub your arm. Anything that makes you happy. This is an early part of the day, so you've got to grab a hold of it now because here's what's going to happen. Either Tony the Tiger is going to take you by the tail or the tail is going to take Tony the Tiger. If you remember, the old Exo, Exxon stations were Esso stations, and they used to have a tiger by the tank. There's a tiger in every tank, and they gave out tiger tails. How many of you had a tiger tail? Why am I thinking about Exo, Exo station tiger tails? Because there was pleasure there. This is the time to fill your brain, fill your eyes as far as you can see with things that are pleasurable. Fill your mind with pleasurable ideas because the pain is biting. How do you bite back? How do you bite back? You know, all the dogs I've ever owned, I didn't have one until I was 19 years old when Mrs. Stoner and I uh, started living together. All the dogs I've ever had, I bite them back. If a dog's nibbling on me like this, you know what I do? I go up to its neck from behind, and I nibble right back. So we have got to start taking a bite out of the pain. How about it? The pain's taking a bite out of us, and it's ongoing. It takes a bite out of us. Time for us to take a little nibble back. How do we do that is, is the question. How do we take a bite out of pain? Well, pain's a funny thing. It's emotionless. It doesn't care how old you are. It doesn't care how young you are. It doesn't care your health. It is relentless. 
how do you take a nibble out of it? How do you take a nibble out of it? Well, if it hurt to stand on your left leg, you would put more weight on your right leg. That would take a little bite out of it. If it hurt to stand at all, you'd sit or lay down. That would take a bite out of it. If medicine helped, like edibles, to have an edible, that would take a bite out of it. If taking a hit would help, have a hit, that would take a bite out of it. You see, what you're not going to be able to do, I'm sorry to tell you this, is you're not going to be able to take a gobble and reduce the pain like that. It doesn't work like that. But you're going to be able to take a lot of little bites and see what works. And then when you find the one that works, you can take more of those bites. Here's the challenge. The more of those bites you take, the body gets used to those bites, and then you got to find something else because it won't relieve the pain. It won't take a bite out of the pain. Pain relief, taking bites out of pain, is a moving target with pain that's constant. The pain moves, so does the relief have to move with it. The pain adjusts, so does the relief have to adjust with it. No matter where it goes, over the horizon, under it doesn't matter. It has to follow it. So, what's this all about? The pain has taken a lot out of us. It's time for us to fight back and take a little bit out of the pain. How simple and smart does it have to be? That is the solution. But, implementing what is the solution is the challenge. Finding the sweet spot to take that bite is the sweet spot. Try biting a killer whale. Try biting a uh, great white shark while it's attacking. Very difficult. Unless you're in playful moods like those dogs I was telling you about when I would bite the back of their necks and with them. Look, Everyone's going to do this differently. Everyone's going to sing it tune a little differently. But we've got to start putting up some mile markers, some markers, and say, we did it, we got past that point. And then we put a little marker further out, we got past that point. And we got to take these bites. And we've got to find out what works. You know, it's experimentation. It's trial and error. But we've got to find out what works to take a bite, a nibble, a little peck out of the pain. Cheers. And everybody have a great Saturday out there. Do the best you can. Cheers.